We are following breaking news. Shifting winds have caused the community of Forest Hill to be in the path of the ongoing mosquito fire, which has been burning for a week now. Look at the smoke in this video right here. Right now, crews are working extra hard to protect the town, but the flames have approached very closely. Now, this comes just as the new Dutch fire which started about 3 o'clock this afternoon, is also forcing evacuations in that area, in the area of Ridge Road. The fire sparked off Interstate 80 and Dutch Flat in Placer County, County and has closed that very important interstate. Good afternoon. We do have a lot to cover tonight. I'm Chris Thomas. And I'm Laura Painter. I want to show you a live look showing that plume of smoke. The conditions so bad, I-80 is now shut down at Crystal Springs and traffic is being diverted down Highway 20. And listen to this. This is important. Placer County deputies are asking evacuees to drive on Alta Bunny Nook to Crystal Springs to get out of the fire area. An evacuation center has been set up at Sierra Vista Community Center in Colfax. The fire has burned 25 acres so far, and Laura, it is moving fast. Oh, yeah, and that's really a, the scary part here as well. Today marks a week since this mosquito fire started burning in Placer County. Since then, as we have told you, that fire extended into El Dorado County as well. Now at this point, it has burned nearly 50,000 acres, destroying more than 40 structures, and many of them, Chris, are homes. Mm, sadly, keep in mind the mosquito fire continues to grow, with the Dutch fire now burning on the other side mm -hmm. of Placer County. It's now closing in on the community of Forest Hill. New areas are under evacuations, and law enforcement is rushing to get everyone out safely. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera joins us live from that ever-changing fire. We see a very dramatic scene right behind you, Kurt. The fire and smoke so close. Yes, it is, uh, Laura. We're on Mosquito Ridge Road near Forest Hill Road. That's the main part of town. And Wes is going to swing around and take a look at what we see here. Now, this is backfiring operations. These are backfiring operations by the Tiburon Fire Department at Marin County, as well as Cal Fire and, and San Francisco Fire Department. But this fire, as you mentioned, has essentially exploded just in the last few hours or so. I've covered this fire since last week, and I've never seen the plume as big as, as it was just in the last couple hours or so. Now, right across the street from where this backfire operation is happening, there are the homes. They are literally just feet away, but they want to strengthen the containment lines that they have here by backfiring here, burning out what is here, all the vegetation and trees that can catch fire, so the fire will stop here. Up above, if you can hear, there are airdrops that have been going on as well. We've seen water dropping helicopters that have been dropping down on the fire along Mosquito Ridge Road. So that's the scene right now. It's a fierce firefight here in, here in uh, Forest Hill in the Mosquito Ridge Road area. Back to you. Kurt, please be mm. safe. We know you are very close to the fire lines, but you're just giving us an idea of how close the fire is now to homes and property. Uh, keep us posted as you learn more. Stand by because we do have mm -hmm. live team coverage tonight. We have our Luke Clary who is live. We're going to be going to our Bridget Bujorlo shortly, but let's get out now to Luke Clary live. Tell us where you are, Luke, and what you're seeing there. Chris, yeah, we are standing along Forest Hill Road as well. Uh, we are just a little further down the street from where Kurt is located, and we are watching as a uh, large Cal Fire helicopter prepares to make a drop. You can see the smoke just kind of churned up by those, uh, by the helicopter. And uh, as we just kind of look out toward the sky here, the smoke, filling it up just about as high as you can see. We were on our way here. We actually just arrived about 15 minutes ago, but you could see this giant plume of smoke all the way from Sacramento on high on Interstate 80 on the way in on the approach. If we actually swing over this way as well, you can see where dozers have put in these extensive dozer lines. Okay, just look at the way that they've torn up the the uh, forest here just to bare earth and uh, we're also just kind of being cautious because moments ago a very large uh, we saw an air tanker up above us in the sky doing one of those drops of uh, that sort of pinkish red 
uh, retardant. You can still see it kind of wet on the ground here, okay? Looking further down this direction, we see a number of CAL FIRE crews just preparing for the fire to make its way this way. On the way in here, we saw uh, we saw trees actually torching right in this area, although the activity appears to have uh, slowed down just a little bit for now. So as we continue to monitor what's going on here on uh, Forest Hill Road, I think I'll throw it back to you, Chris, for a moment as we catch our breath and uh, continue to monitor what's going on around us. Okay, that is our Luke Clary reporting yeah. live for us tonight. Uh, it's oh, such a, so uh, dramatic. you know, it is just a scary time for everyone involved mm -hmm. because this is moving so fast. Right, there are definitely a lot of moving parts, information that we are gathering right now. And as you can see, Luke was moving around that area and things were going on right in that moment, mm -hmm. right live as we get this breaking news coming in. Mm -hmm. He said the fire retardant is coming down. He had the air tankers there, the crews working desperate lead to, to try to protect those communities, mm -hmm. the high school, the homes, homes right across the street from the fires. I mean, and the evacuations are in place. So everyone, please heed those warnings. We do want to turn over now to Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods, who is also tracking the conditions and also the winds are not right. really helping the situation. Yeah, you're right about that. We are going to take a look at a couple of our maps here as we look at the perimeter lines as well as some of the winds that have been shifting throughout the day. And overnight last night, we had light winds. Um, uh, hopefully we've got some graphics to show you here. Uh, I know they're coding, so with breaking news, here we go. Uh, this is what the perimeter lines look like earlier today. But as we go ahead and take a look at how this has grown over the past couple of days, this was about two days ago with the orange, and then the red was yesterday. As we put this into motion, you can see how this has grown towards Forest Hill. Also, just over Michigan Bluff, we've seen on the north and east side of the flanks as well with those winds continuing to push the uh uh, fan the flames as well as add oxygen to that fire and really getting things going here. Here's some of the hot spots at 49,000 plus acres, 15 mile per hour winds. Some of the hot spots over the past 24 hours definitely on the west side of this as well as on the east side where you can see approaching many of the communities. Unfortunately, when you look at the terrain too, we have a lot of those drainage areas that are difficult for firefight, especially when we have uh, air attack that is suspended temporarily just because of smoke and visibility issues. Now on the flip side of things, I need to update this map actually because this was just about a moment ago, but now we have even more closures up along I-80 here and that's because of the Dutch uh, fire, which is also uh, along I-80. So we've got closures up there. The traffic just absolutely backing up. Even some of the detour areas right now are having a trouble spot as well. Uh, Highway 20, you can see multiple areas where traffic has just stopped. Most of this is westbound here. As you can see, the eastbound traffic moving smoothly, not necessarily the safest to be traveling up into that area because of the weather conditions that we've been tracking. Now, in terms of the smoke plume, this is what I'm talking about. This is why air attack has been at times suspended for today. We had some lenticular, uh, lenticular clouds, which kind of look like lenses, almost spaceships, indicating a lot of turbulence around this fire. The other part of this is record dryness for our fuel. The blue line right here is the northern Sierra, where you can see the maximum dryness we've ever seen in the red and we were spiking above that because of the heat last week, drawing everything out. Evaporation rates have been tremendous over the past week. A lot of fuel to burn, winds also contributing to that fire growth. We'll have more on that coming up. Mm -hmm. Guys, back to you. Sounds yeah. good, Monica. We'll check back in shortly. Mm -hmm.